Hello again. This is Chester Drawers from DOA TV. I, I, I had an idea earlier that I'd like to I'd like to try out. Uh, it has to do with a law in Sweden that's called the law, excuse me, fra logen. Or uh, in English, I actually downloaded some information. It's called the fra law. Imagine that. FRA. And basically, it just allows the Swedish government to, um, uh, with computer programs, uh, go through everybody's emails, uh, telephone, any wire communications going through Sweden get monitored. The same as they do in the United States um, with home security and etc. etc. Anyway, I thought I'd do a short video where I I um, use uh, innocently lots of the so-called uh, words these programs are looking for like for example this painting here it's a Ganawa painting uh, one would think it might be Arabic uh, however I did buy it in uh, Morocco it uh, was not uh, painted by an Arabian or an Arabic person however it was painted by a Berber a very nice man, I must uh, say, who I met. Uh, now, this painting below, this this is interesting. This was painted on glass, and there's glass over glass, and it's of the Medina in Essaouira, which is a town in Morocco, which some people seem to confuse with uh, more fundamentalist Muslim countries. However, Morocco is not fundamentalist at all. It, it's quite modern and it's a very beautiful, beautiful country uh, to visit and uh, if you haven't been there yet you should go. Um, however, there have been some reports of terrorist bombings in Morocco, uh, very few and far in between. Uh, the, the, the largest I believe was uh, in Morocco several years ago and recently something in Marrakesh However, things basically are very cool and calm there. Now, um, to consider this, uh, to consider to continue this so-called an experiment to see if our government programs really do work, this is an interesting piece of uh, artwork, a carving I bought in Essaouira, Morocco, which was not made by an Arab or anybody having anything whatsoever to do with any fundamentalist groups like Al-Qaeda. Uh, speaking of which, doesn't Al-Qaeda sound like a chain of uh, stores or something that specialized in maybe, I don't know, terrorist machinery, uh, weapons, uh, torpedoes. Uh. Anyway, getting back to this sculpture, this is a, a Ganawa spirit uh, sculpture made out of a special wood called Chuya. Uh, that they, they, they make things a lot out of in in Essaouira. And it's got, you see, it's got its hands over its ears. Uh, I have a lot of necklaces that I've bought in third world countries um, uh, that I won't bother to bore you with at the moment. However, I think we spent enough time on the um, so-called experiment. Oh, look! There is a rug that looks very Arabic, but it's not. It's Moroccan. Imagine that. A Moroccan carpet. Who could that mean anything? Anything? Ooh, here's another one. This is, this is, well, now it's getting boring. Anyway, back to where we started off. It, with the Ganawa painting by a Berber and not an Arab, we're going to see of the Fra Logan or the F.A.R. Law really works. If it does, perhaps this will be the last broadcast you will be hearing from DOA TV. I sincerely hope not. Meanwhile, until then, this is Chester Drawers saying good night and good luck, and thank you very much.